Hello everyone, welcome back. Trixie's about to vomit and Fruity is cleaning this toilet or she's she's not cleaning it, she's unclogging it, but now I'm going to clean it because it's freaking dirty. And then she's going to use this one and Trixie's probably gonna end up having to vomit in the bottom one. I'm not even whoa, what happened to Fruity? Oh, she's already gonna go to the bathroom. Okay, maybe maybe Trixie can actually vomit in that one. I don't even know the poor thing. I don't want her to have to run up to the stairs, but she seems fine. Oh, and she's hungry, so I'll probably have her tend to her garden and pick up those little sunbursts after she eats. So let's have her eat some bouillabaisse. Sounds so good. And let's have you pick up these little sunshines and then tend to your lovely garden. And it's all autumn colored. Her trees outside, they look so beautiful. So let's see, everybody else, Ogu is picking pumpkins and he's freaking hungry. I should probably have him eat something before he dies. I don't even know. So <laughs> let's have you stop harvesting pumpkins and then you can go buy food and then you can continue harvesting pumpkins once you are done and you're wet. Okay, so that's pretty much it for you. Fruity is hungry. I think I want to throw a party at a different location, by the way. I think I want to throw a party at the at that festival place. I th that would probably be best. Maybe I could bring some food. I don't even know. It'd be a spook party or what is that party? A costume party. Yeah, that should be super fun. So let's get you, uh, what can we get? Sweet potato fries. Let's get a pie. That sounds so much better than sweet potato fries right now. Depends on what kind of pie it is. What are you doing, Trixie? Why are you running everywhere? My sims have been running everywhere. Does anybody know why that is? And how come you're not eating bouillabaisse? Oh, he's, I mean, she's now nauseous again probably because from eating meat oh she's a vegetarian oh crap i forgot i didn't even i totally didn't even think bully base had meat in it oh no sorry trixie i'm sorry she's just vomiting all over the place in this episode isn't she god that word is terrible what is going on with my computer i think it's just i think the festival is such a huge file size that it, it like freezes my computer for a second every time i use it so we're going to throw a party at somewhere. No, continue cleaning. Continue cleaning. It's dirty. It's dirty. Clean until pristine. There you go. I'm so glad that you're that you're a neat sim. I love neat sims. They take like the hassle of having to get a maid or a butler or Bonhilda or something if you have supernatural. <laughs> or a butler comes with late night too. Uh, okay, so everybody, Alfie, everybody's busy. Ogu is still continuing to get pumpkins. Okay, Scott, uh, can you invite your alien friend over? Let's invite him over. Invite over. Hell yeah, son. So we're going to throw the party at the festival grounds. And exclusive access, how much would that be with exclusive access? Blah, blah. No, let's just, let's just invite everybody. Because we don't really care if paparazzi come. It's not like they're famous or anything. Uh, friendly, but, I mean, it's like unavoidable if, <laughs> if it's paparazzi. Just because Nisa barks still. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me see. Let me stop talking for a second and invite the alien and the other people that I like. Scott's chickadee. Um, and then did I invite Tinkerwinkle? Okay, I did. <laughs> That's right. And then Clavel. I think I want Fruity to become buddies. Destination party. Oh, what? You can't throw a costume party, really? Okay, well, that's a fail. We're gonna have to do this at our house, and I don't want to freaking do it at our house, so our house is tiny. I mean, well, actually, no, it's not tiny. It's only tiny for the food if you throw a feast party. That's the only way it's tiny. It's actually not bad at all. Throw a party. Screw the house cleaning. Okay. Let's just do this right. <laughs> do this the right way. Eat some bully baits. Love saying that word. Can you tell I love saying that? <gasps> oh, my God. What the hell? the hell was that? Oh, that was an alien, huh? Scared me. Oops, did I freaking do it again? Gosh dang it. Okay. Uh, let me... <laughs> let me redo this. Yeah, eventually I'll, like, expand the house that way or maybe add on a second, like, a legitimate second story, but I think expanding it would be really, really good. Oh, you're eating bully base. Okay, fine. Waste my time, <laughs> even though I told you to. So Trixie is talking to this alien guy. I don't really want you to talk to the alien. I want Scott to talk to the alien. Be romantic with him because we want to see if he can impregnate a male sim just by doing the do um, instead of getting abducted. But I really, really want to get abducted. Like, I don't know why it's so hard for my sims to get pregnant from being abducted. 
you know, because it's happened before. My Sims have gotten abducted like five times since I started playing Seasons, like in my current game and stuff, and it's all wet in here. Ew. Uh, but neither, none of them have gotten pregnant. It's so sad. Most of them were uh, males too. What the hell? Ooh, they're flirty. He likes it. And he wants to rake a leaf pile. Alright, let's break a leaf pile, then we'll go woohoo and leaf pile. And all that good stuff. Ask sign. Um, I don't know. I just want to see if this male sim can get freaking pregnant by an alien. Because it's just driving me insane. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna throw a costume party. Okay, cool. We could throw in. Start it at four. That sounds like a good time. Costumes, and then we're going to invite all of our friends, and we're going to invite <coughs> this guy so he can stay. Um, who, do, who else did I invite in the last one? And then Clavel. Oh, Xander Clavel, Crumplebottom, Nisa Barksdale, because she was pretty high on the friendship level. Ooh, it's turned into a date. Oh no. What's your sign? Looks like it was meant to be. Okay, stop flirting with me. Whoa, look at all these flirters. Flirters! Okay, I don't really want it to be a date. I don't care if they're in a relationship. I just want this mofo to impregnate Scott. Like, why is that so difficult? Who knows? I'm fast forwarding this. Let's make this happen, guys. Is there, like, a mod that makes it more likely for a male sim to get pregnant by a vampire? I mean, an alien? Why did I say vampire? Oh, look, she's talking to her plants all up in their face. Look, you go. You go. Try. Um, you're doing good, Scott. Don't give up on your love, Scott. That's what she's doing. She's motivating them. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this is taking forever. This is driving me insane. What is the dealio? Let's give him romantic red flowers. Oh, he doesn't even want it anymore. He doesn't want Scott. Why wouldn't you want Scott? He's gorgeous. Get to know, chat, cry on shoulder, that's kind of weird. Um, make- whoa, whoa, what happened? Oh, the party just started. The first guest has arrived, and it's time to start the party. Okay, did anybody bring food? Sometimes they bring food, but sometimes they don't. So let's have Fruity- what are you doing? Change the costume? Okay, change into your costume. And then you'll continue cooking. What does she change into? A bunny. Let's hope she changed into a bunny. I would be so happy if she turned into a bunny. What is going on? Turn into your costume. Oh, that's not happening? Oh, people are bringing food. Okay, we have so much in co- Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at all these things. Um, poop, nah. Scott Henson, those signs are compatible. Ooh, they're compatible. Look at all these- God, dang it. Look at this food. Why do you still continue to bring food? We have no room for food. Oh, gosh, guys, come on. Oh, look at, look at Christine. Looking sexy. Oh, and look at you! In the, in the cow one! Aw, oh, you're awesome. Xander, don't even think about it. You better not leave, I'm gonna kick your ass. Okay, let's be romantic. Let's ask his sign and he, oh, no, she's dressed up as, oh, that's what you're wearing? That's your costume, Fruity. How embarrassing. <laughs> and you, Styles McGraw. Oh, Styles and Judy are both the same thing. And what are you, Emma Hatch? You're a magician, maybe? Oh, I love your lipstick. I've been doing that. Not so dark, because it would look weird on me. But, yeah. And what are you dressed up as? A sexy biker? What, is that Alfie? That's not Alfie, is it? That's freaking Alfie, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Check Alfie out. That's actually a really good look for him. <laughs> That's funny. And who are you? Oh, hot dog! Yay! Somebody's a hot dog! That is so cute. I love this game. I love it. Except Fruity. Well, that is so depressing. I don't even know why you would choose such a lame costume. Oh, look. The alien is an astronaut? <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. And then, oh no. Oh, Scott. Not a good choice for a costume. You see... Alfie is already wearing the same thing, and that's kind of embarrassing, like that couple, um, okay, now we can flirt with him, let's just be flirting. No, I don't want to ask to be protected, because I don't really want to be protected. Do you want to stay over? Let's do a flirtatious joke. How come Trixie didn't turn into anything? She didn't, she doesn't even, can we change outfit? Can we turn into our costume? This is really sad. Why aren't, why aren't you participating, Trixie? Or did it say something? Maybe I'll go back and read the little thing. I think she might have said, like, this is lame. 
Or maybe I'm just thinking something. I exited out of something that she said about costumes, though, so maybe that's what it was. And I'll put it in a little call out or whatever <laughs> in the video right now and show what she said. Shoot. Should have thought about that before. Alright, so Alfie is sleeping, being a party pooper. He wants to create a storm with UFO. Ooh, sounds good. Alright, can we become pregnant? I don't know you well enough to stay over. This is embarrassing. Trixie's just like, oh, this is so sad, Scott. You're doing such a terrible job flirting with this alien. That is not what she sounds like. I'm doing a terrible Trixie impression. She has, like, a very high-pitched voice. <laughs> Who are you, Nisa? I mean, what are you wearing, Nisa? Teppanyaki filled mignon, filet mignon. Oh, that's what I get when I go to Benihana's. Filet mignon. It's teriyaki, though. I don't know. Tapin teppanyaki. Such a weird word. Oh, and she's dressed up as a scuba diver. Oh, look at all these people showing up late. You guys. You guys. It's not cool to be fashionably late anymore, Kareen. Alright? Invite the cuddle on the bed. Let's cuddle on the bed. Okay, let's not cuddle on the bed because you're. I don't know what you're doing. Ask a sign. Let's ask her if she's single. I mean, she's a pretty good match for him, right? Oh, my arm is hurting. I need to get one of those cushions for my mouse pad so I can put something under my arm. I don't know. Oh! I get it. Maybe Trixie can't be a costume because she's pregnant and usually you can't, like. Oh, look how cute. Oh my god, she's a tiger. She's a tiger. Because you know how even if you use testing cheats in Ambletree, you can't change a sim's clothing? Yeah, that's exactly... I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And maybe they just use some stupid excuse to say that... How come everybody's coming here to flare into the garden? Maybe it has, like, this love... Maybe, like, it's just full of love and it attracts people. It has, like, love pheromones or... I don't, I don't know. Oh, he doesn't want... Does he not want us? First kiss. Can we do first kiss? Denied. He was denied. Rejected. What is the deal? He just does not want Scott. I don't even understand. Um, give flowers. Pure white. Victoria Andrews is the best bobber around. She has won the apple box. You know what? Good for you. I don't even like you. <laughs> okay, so can we please be romantic? Oh my god, scared me. Jeez, why does it have to flash like that? Okay, Alfie, can we be romantic with her? Does she like us? Oh, she's our friend. Um, compliment personality. Oh, he likes the flowers, at least. Did you see that? That's pretty good. Um, Scott, no, where are you going? Where do you think you're going? You just ruined all of my progress that I have been making with this guy. Just so you can get a snow cone. Oh, you're such a pain in the ass, Scott. <laughs> well, you're just hungry. Oh, look at this little cute... I'm sheltered and nervous to be around these people pose or he's more looking at Alfie and he's like god damn he looks so much better than I do I feel really insecure now isn't that the isn't that the look he's giving that's kind of sad oh no now he's like gosh Alfie your costume is so boring <laughs> I don't know oh that's hilarious so that they wore the same thing <laughs> and they live in the same house what do you want to stay over? Okay, you better stay over. And then we're gonna, you know, woohoo. Thanks for inviting me over. Oh, she's going somewhere. Look at how cute her face is with the face paint. All right, Alfie. Um, I don't know what the hell she's doing. And you, you're still gonna get a snow cone? Oh my gosh, nice party. I had a pretty good time. I had fun. I forgot about the rest of the party goers, but I mean, they look good. They look good. Judy looks awesome. She has five kids, apparently. Um, so I don't want to mess with her because then her husband would probably come over and kick Alfie's ass because he's tiny, you know? He probably can't win in a fight. <laughs> That'd be so sad. And you, where are you even? Did you miss work? I have a feeling he missed work. That was my chair, by the way. Uh, okay. You and me sitting in the tree. Oh gosh, did, did I say that out loud? I mean, what a fun date. Um, don't mind me. Didn't I ask you to stay over? Recombobulate broken device. It's broken. Why does everything have to break? The air smells fresh. The birds are twittering in delay. And you feel like you're walking on a, on tiptoes as you might suddenly burst into flight. That date was incredible. Okay, the alien just left. Which sucks because now Scott has nobody. <laughs> he has nobody. And it, where's Xander Clavel? I'm assuming he left. Poor Trixie. Look at Trixie's. <laughs> what are you wearing? You. You. 
What is this? It's just a mask. You can't go to a, a party and just wear a mask in your normal clothes. Actually, you can. That's probably... That's a pretty good one. Isn't that what the guy that wears a mask does? I think his name is Jason or something. Or I forgot who it was. <sighs> well, this is really sad. What is this? Brighten day. Oh, he's gonna brighten her day. He's gonna do that? That is so nice of you. She's not even in there. Okay. So I'm gonna put these in the fridge because I don't want them to rot. Everybody's gonna not eat them and then they're just gonna go sour and we have so much food now. Look at this. Eat all these freaking leftovers. What? Who has this much food in their fridge? I don't. <laughs> Oh, it's so crazy. So everybody's leaving. Alright, well I hope you guys had a fun time. Um, I'm gonna change this music. It sounds like it's kind of loud. Let's change it to indie. Because indie's good. And he looks so weird in his little thing. Oh, poo. Do, do, do. Why are you running everywhere? Talk about gardening. Why does everybody want to talk to her? Okay, how about you go to the bathroom since your hubby's in there anyway. Uh, or not your hubby, but your friend. Let's eat some porcini. Or you're like, <laughs> what are they? Are they in a relationship? I don't even know. Yeah, they're boyfriend girlfriend. They're not very friendly with each other, but that's all right. They just like barely touch the friendship level. Okay, so let's be romantic with her. You guys are ruining everything. Um, compliment appearance. Fruity, get the hell out of the way. Romantic, flirtatious joke. How about you talk to Scott, Fruity? <laughs> Um, talk about the rain. Yeah, Scott's gonna get all bored. He's gonna be like, oh man, she just bored me with rain talk. We'll talk about the weather. Can we invite this guy over? It's only 10, right? He'll come. He should come. And then I'll be more romantic with him and I'll be like, you wanna stay over, baby? And he's gonna be like, yeah. I wanna stay over and cuddle with your, on you with your tiny twin bed. That looks like half a twin bed, to be honest. I had a twin bed and they're very... They, like, barely fit me and Latte, and I felt so nervous that I was going to, like, s push her off the bed on accident, because I apparently kick in my sleep. I don't even know, but I don't think I do it anymore. I don't know. I wake up to Latte trying to bite my toes, and it hurts so bad when she does, so maybe, maybe I accidentally kicked her or something. I don't know. So let's be romantic with him. How he just, like, up and left without telling me, and it was really rude. You know, what's your name? P oh god. P Dax. Pi Dax. Let's call him Pi Dax. Pi Dax. No, that's Pi. Hmm. I'm confused. Alright. Does he want does he want Oh he likes. He likes romantic interest. First kiss. Alright, I was thinking of like piercing, you know, but piercing is spelled with pi in the front. I think. I don't even know. Propose going steady. No, don't propose going- No, I don't want to go steady! I don't want to go steady! Gosh dang, I did it again, didn't I? Oh, crap. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna have to break up with him. Cause I don't want to be with him. I just want to have his baby. Oh, no, we can't do it. Wow, that was a waste. Well, that's good to know. At least you guys know that now you can't get impregnated by a freaking alien. That is a male alien, and you can only get impregnated. Okay, you, let's go try to get abducted. Do, what do we have to do? Just roam around town? All the aliens are in our house, aren't they? There's only like two aliens in the universe, and they're just all in our house. Can you hear a lot of she's snoring? <laughs> it's so cute. No, there's no aliens. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward it a little bit. Um, hopefully nothing goes on, and I'm going to see if an alien pops up, because 12 to 3 is like the- <gasps> What the hell happened? Oh, Trixie. Scared me, I was like, oh, he's dying. Trixie's gonna be Pregos. Yay! You look so pretty, Trixie. Come on. Oh, why does this have to take forever? Oh, here we go. <gasps> oh, Trixie gets the next work for days. <laughs> um, yeah. Trixie gets the next- Four days off work, so I'm assuming that the alien, the baby's going to be an alien. I read online that there is like 90% chance that it's an alien or something. I don't know. It had this weird terminology that I just, I'm not familiar with. <laughs> so it's something about genes and all this stuff and odds of gene. Okay, can you leave? Where are the, how come there's no more aliens in our town? Hmm. I'm just going to fast forward it because this is usually where they come. I've had one come over here, and then I had one come over here. 
because uh, I used this in my current household, this town. I just made a copy of it. And that's just pretty much where they went. I don't see anything, though. But I might be skipping it, like, so bad. Alright, well, it's already 3 o'clock. Damn it. Um, is in a relationship with Scott? Trixie learned that Pedax is in a relationship with Scott. Um, why are you, why are you, why are you doing this, Trixie? Are you flirting with him? Oh, hell no. Oh, goo. Romantic. Kiss. Friendly. Announce pregnancy. Friendly. Yeah, apologize, because obviously you just flirted with this guy. Ugh, terrible. All right, can you leave? I don't even want to be with you anymore. I hate you. Let's be mean. Let's break up with him. Break up with him. Break up with him right now. Don't even, don't let this guy leave. Go break up with him. Please. Here we go. I'm sorry. I just wanted to, be, to become pregnant. I just wanted my male sim to become pregnant, Pydax. You understand, right? Pydax? Oh, I'm still stuck. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to say his name. I like Scott's shoes. I saw these mint green vans. So awesome. I kind of want to buy them. But they're expensive. They're like $45, obviously. Vans are always expensive. And I just bought some like super cool $11 shoes from Tilly's. <laughs> They were this burgundy color, and I just had to have them. And they were on sale. So, I mean, how can you not get sale stuff? Oh, that's so sad. Your heart's all a flutter. Oh my, you never thought you'd use a flutter in a sentence, and yet who knew dates could go? That was a good date, but we broke up with him. Oh, he has commitment issues. Well, good then. I don't even want you. You've got some issues, and I'm not sticking around to deal with them. You have issues, pal. You're the one with commitment issues. So quit being a jerk. <laughs> You're so mean to me. Where's the girl? Oh, she's right there. And she has stinky food. Somebody left their spoiled toast French up here. French toast up here. <laughs> the toast French. <laughs> They're toast French. Why is that funny? Okay, you can stop sleeping. You can come. Oh my god, scared me. Why is that so loud? I should have turned it down. Uh, let's go back to bed once you're done. Trixie is sleeping. Fruity is sleeping. I swear, 22 minutes is a really good time for a one sim day once you're doing everything. I don't know. It usually seems to be like, I start the episode, what are you doing? Oh, he's dancing on the counter. Oh yeah, shake it, Oku, shake it. Look at him. I love it when sims dance. They're the best dancers ever. I wish I could dance like them. Aw yeah. Look at him, getting groovy. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's a little weird. Alright, Fruity is hungry, um, and she has to go take a shower. Let's have you stop doing that. Opgu is hungry. <laughs> Opgu. I am not gonna get that vision of him shaking his butt <laughs> out of my head. Alright, well, next, I'm... <sighs> This is going to be an ongoing... I'm never going to give up on getting a male sim impregnated. Like, I say this in every episode. I'm going to stop saying it so much, but... Oh, look, pile of leaves. Leaves. Oh, look at how pretty these trees look. Oh, my gosh. That is beautiful. Why is that so pretty? They're like... It's like it snowed, but they still have some leaves left, even though it's not freaking snow. And let me see what kind of weather I have. I better have weather enabled in here. Yep, enabled weather. Good, good. Okay, so, um, <laughs> that was a cool costume party, right? And Trixie's now pregnant with hopefully an alien baby. And uh, Scott, I'm hoping to get impregnated by an alien in the next episode. And if not, then the one after that, and then the one after that, and then whenever. Or Alfie. You no, know, either way, I don't even, I don't really care who gets pregnant, which Millicent. It's going to be the same, because it's still a pregnant one. Brady's party was a modest success. The guests feel good about having intended. Good, good. Alright, so I'll talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will talk to you later. <laughs> Bye, guys!